This is a follow-up video using version two of Mac Photos for how to select your raw image file as the one to be edited and viewed, as well as um, how to know if you uh, actually have raw images in your photo library. So first things first, um, I'm using Mac Photos version two. And if you go down here to the bottom, um, you'll see um, one of my images that um, doesn't have any icon indicators on the thumbnail here. And that's because I shot this with my iPhone. I only have one file format associated with this thumbnail. It's just a JPEG because my iPhone is shooting JPEGs. Now, if you go up top here, here's some photos that I shot with a DSLR. And you'll notice these little icons. And these icons indicate that I have multiple image files associated with these thumbnails. In this case, I have a RAW and a JPEG because I have my camera set to shoot both and I imported both automatically into Mac Photos. Now, um, that J is telling me that I'm viewing this as a JPEG. Same with this one. So if I open this image up, you'll see it's up here now. Um, I'll mention that in version, um, in a different version of Mac Photos version one, this icon I think showed up in a different corner, but it's basically uh, the same as it is um, in both versions. So we'll open this up. Now what's confusing is I want to use RAW. And if I right mouse click, I don't have any options. If I go to the image menu and I see here, use RAW as original, but it's not available. So it makes me think that, oh, I don't have my RAW image file. Well, you do most likely, because if you see this little icon, that means you have more than one image file. Now the trick is, and it's kind of silly that it's not, um, that it took me a little while to figure out, but if you click the edit icon, which is this one in Mac photos. So I click this. And now if I right mouse click, now I can see use raw as original. Um, that's also a uh, control mouse click to get you this uh, contextual menu. And if I go to the image menu, I can see use raw as original. And when I select that, you'll notice up top here, this went from JPEG to raw. And now I'm viewing, I'm viewing the raw as the original. And if I click done, you'll notice it shows an R here. It says that I'm using the raw as the original. That's what I'm viewing. So when you switch these back and forth, this, this will allow you to view the file um, in that format as well as edit it. So if you want to edit in RAW, you need to switch to the RAW image file and make your edits. The other thing I'll mention is that um, uh, if you don't see this little icon, most likely, I'm guessing, most likely your camera is not set to shoot both RAW and JPEG. I'm sure there's other occasions where maybe Mac Photos doesn't doesn't like your uh, type of raw file format, uh, but I'm probably probably pretty sure that it's a camera setting that's causing this um, to so that you are, are not seeing both raw and JPEG. Uh, one last thing: if you go to the file menu and you go to File Export and you click Export Unmodified Original. You'll get, um, if you have both RAW and, photo and uh, JPEG, you will get both image files being exported. See this here, uh, CR2, and that's my RAW image file format. There's the JPEG. So if you were going to export this out to edit in something else like Photoshop, you can edit it, you can export it out, take the CR2, open that one in Photoshop or your favorite photo editor. Um, make your edits, save it, and then re-import this CR2 into uh, Mac Photos. It will probably mean that you'll have two um, different, you know, you'll have the photo twice, one with the edits you made in Photoshop and the original, just so you know, and these CR2s are usually pretty big. Um, so, you, you know, you can handle that any way you'd like. Anyway, that's how you choose uh, to use the raw image file as the original so that you can view them and edit them. And I hope that's helpful.